An often overlooked patch of hallowed ground in East Knoxville holds the graves of unlikely defenders of a city under siege during the Civil War. If you come over here, we have James Prosser from the Civil War has this uh, military crest and then it has the curved top and said so this is this is the Union issue. Oddfellow Cemetery dates back to the 1800s and serves as the final resting place for almost three dozen slaves turned soldiers, military pioneers of the first U.S. colored heavy artillery unit, a first of its kind fighting force made up of black men in the Civil War. They fought for freedom of I mean, all that were enslaved here in Knoxville. Saving this cemetery and the stories inside it became a passion project for a professor of architecture at the University of Tennessee. It changed the course of history. They knew that. You know, how could they not? The last decade of research, rebuilding, and re-education symbolizes the new preservation generation. Here, they're here as part of a community with recognition of that military service. But the story of the groundbreaking Civil War unit came precariously close to looking like sections of this historic graveyard, broken, faded, forgotten. And I have to admit, uh, I walked past uh, Oddfellow Cemetery, like I said, for years going to Vine Middle School, and I didn't know the history of it. I never even knew there were black Civil War veterans in Oddfellow Cemetery and uh, never cared, never, never cared to know because I didn't know they were there. In 2009, with the help of middle school students and the Oddfellows Cemetery Scholars Project, the curiosity of this Knoxville-born Army veteran turned community historian helped rediscover and retell the story of men born enslaved and reborn as trailblazing troops. I learned a lot. Uh, I educated the community, educated myself. Um, with uh, I just became an authority on the the first United States colored heavy artillery, the 1864. 1864 it was after Gettysburg. It was when Lincoln authorized uh, black troops to be formed into the Union. The first United States colored heavy artillery is famous for being responsible for the security of Knoxville. And that was their one active participation in the war where they were actually responsible for the security of Knoxville. So other than that and um, the standard use of black soldiers for construction all throughout the, all throughout the war. That, that was the impact on Knoxville. Research shows the unit was made up of conscripts from Tennessee and out of state, but for almost three dozen troops, their final resting place is in a city they helped defend. Heavy artillery was normally a unit that manned large fixed siege weapons. There were no such weapons in Knoxville. In the summer of 2015, the Heartland series produced by Channel 10 featured the story of the first U.S. colored heavy artillery unit in a special titled Fog of War. There are only two known photos of enlisted men, Edward Klein with wife, Nanny, and Chance Cox. There are no known descendants of any of these men living in Knoxville. The hope is through the transcription of their records and a renewed interest in the role they played, some descendants will step forward. A lot of people didn't know that blacks participated in the Civil War. That's just history that was never widely known, not, and, and it wasn't taught in schools. And um, that, that, that was the issue that we were trying to address. A change that's occurred is that the cemetery now has a sense of invitation. Our first implemented project out here was this walkway system, which, you know, that was back in 2012, so that's been a decade. Um, but we continue to add to that and look to maintain that. Oddfellow Cemetery holds almost 6,000 burials with roughly 500 stones, meaning fewer than 10% of the graves here are marked. Among them, 14 Civil War soldiers. Like everything out here, it's a matter of maintenance. Gaze across the graves in this pre-Civil War cemetery, and you still find stone tablets teetering on the dangerous verge of crumbling and their engravings fading into obscurity. There's history here that we'll never get back. But you also find the graves of Civil War originals, reclaimed and restored with the honor and reverence they are due. The effort here is to reestablish the um, 
the veteran's name, so James Prosser is here. The design as a whole is the four military bars, and so kind of iconic in that sense. It starts with the um, formal name. The second would recognize a birth and death. For 13 of the 14, there was no record. The third bar is the rank, and then the final one was uh, the Civil War veteran, so it recognizes the war. The research, the history, the work, will soon fall to a new generation of caretakers, ensuring this story, dating back more than 150 years, isn't overlooked again. This is a lifelong project. The group Knoxville Reanimation Coalition is continuing its work, and we have a link to their history and their ongoing efforts to preserve Oddfellow Cemetery right now at WBIR.com. Robin.